Hello YouTube. Today we're making spicy orange chicken. When we go down to southeast Texas to visit relatives, we like to go to China Inn and Groves and eat their orange chicken. We were kind of having a craving for it, so we decided we'd come up with our own recipe for orange chicken. And man, did it turn out good. So we're going to share that with you today. What we're going to need to start a recipe out with is a pound and a half of chicken breasts that have been trimmed and cleaned up and we're going to cube those into one inch pieces. Then we're going to take a gallon Ziploc bag and we're going to use this to bread our chicken in and we're going to add a cup of all-purpose flour, a tablespoon of cornstarch. This helps crisp up your chicken. One teaspoon of orange zest, one and a half teaspoons of salt, a half a teaspoon of black pepper, garlic powder, and onion powder. Mix that all together and then you're going to coat your chicken in the flour mixture first. Then you're going to go to the egg wash, which is two eggs and a half a cup of milk. You'll go back to the flour, then put it over in a container, and then it'll go to the grease next. We're cooking this in a four quart stock pan. We've got an inch and a half of grease in there. We're actually using rice bran oil. You can use any other vegetable oil that you normally fry in, it's fine. We're going to preheat this to around 300 to 310 degrees. It'll cook for around 10 to 12 minutes. You'll cook all the chicken up until you get it all done. Place it over to the side on a plate or a platter on some paper towels to drain. Once you get that done, we're going to start with our vegetables. For our vegetables, we're going to need a 11 or 12 inch stock pan or skillet that you can that you normally would saute vegetables in. You're going to add two tablespoons of the oil that the chicken cooked in. To that you're going to add a teaspoon of sesame seeds and a teaspoon of chopped garlic and one cup of chopped onions and a half a cup of bell peppers. You'll saute that until your onions begin to look clear or translucent and then we're going to add the rest of our vegetables and our soy sauce to the mix. We're going to add two cups of carrots, two cups of green beans that are left whole. All you'll do is just nip the ends off of the green beans and two cups of sugar snap peas. You'll add your two tablespoons of soy sauce and you're going to cook these vegetables until they are as done as what you like them. The most of the Chinese restaurants or Chinese food is cooked where the vegetables are left partially raw. We like to cook ours about 10 to 12 minutes and that gets your carrots about half done to where they still have a little crunch and it makes your green beans and your sugar snap peas just about all the way done. So it all depends on the way that you like it. You'll cook it till it's to the consistency of what you like. Uh, the best thing to do is taste your carrots. Your carrots are going to be the last thing in here that's going to be done. If the carrots are done enough for you, then the rest of the green vegetables will be also. How I can tell that the vegetables have cooked long enough is the sugar snap peas will have wilted enough to where you can see the beans through the skin of the sugar snap peas. Once you get this done to the consistency you like, check and make sure it's got enough salt in it. Usually with soy sauce, there's plenty of salt in there and it doesn't usually have to have more salt. You'll need to either pour this up in a bowl or get another saucepan or, or stock pan and we're going to make our orange sauce. For our orange sauce, we're going to start with another two tablespoons of the oil that the chicken cooked in. And you're either going to be adding four dried chilies with the seeds removed or you can add some red pepper flakes. You'll saute your red pepper flakes in your oil. Add a quarter teaspoon of garlic powder and onion powder. After that saute just a little while you're going to go ahead and add the rest of your ingredients which are two cups of orange juice, two tablespoons of rice wine vinegar, one tablespoon of sugar, two tablespoons of soy sauce, 
you'll bring this mixture to a bowl and you're going to add two teaspoons of orange zest. After this is brought to a simmer or a bowl, you're going to cook it for five or ten minutes and then we're going to add our cornstarch to it to thicken it. We're going to be using a tablespoon and one half of cornstarch mixed with about two tablespoons of water. Pour that into the sauce while you're stirring and this is going to, like I say, act as your thickener. After you add this into your orange sauce, you're going to want to cook it another five minutes. Then at this time you're going to want to taste it and see if it's seasoned correctly. You may need a little more red pepper flakes. You may need a little salt. It just depends on your personal preference. Once this is done, you need to cook it at least five minutes after you've added the cornstarch. We'll add our chicken that we've set aside back to it. Toss it in the orange sauce. Make sure it's completely coated. Then you add your vegetables back and mix it all together and that's your orange chicken. Uh, we served ours over basmati rice. If you need any directions on how to cook basmati rice, be glad to share that with you. I use what's called an instant pot, which is an electric pressure cooker to cook my rice in. It does a fantastic job. Hope you enjoyed the recipe. Please give us a thumbs up for our recipe. Please subscribe to our channel. If we can help you out in any way, let us know by leaving a comment below. You can see the recipe completely where you can print it out by going to the pressuredprepper.blog.com. Have a good day. This is the Pressured Prepper, and I'm out.